will start with a premise. And the premise is that the health improvements are mostly driven by technological innovation in healthcare in modern, in modern times. However, technological innovation is growing at a very rapid pace and it is becoming very difficult for governments to catch up with uh, such a rapid pace uh, of technological innovation. Um, because of this, uh, the, 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 the issue and the risk uh, is that the patients uh, cannot access uh, all potential cost-effective and modern technologies in the healthcare sector. And it becomes important uh, for governments, for policymakers especially, to take uh, good decisions uh, for the sake of better health of their own citizens. So, I mean, uh, this is the premise. So the reason why we decided three years ago more than three years ago, almost four years ago, to start investigating this sector is because we realized that, that much was done for pharmaceuticals, but much less had been done for medical devices. So we created a consortium of seven institutions. Some of these institutions are academic universities, but some others are represented by important stakeholders. So we had the opportunity to work with the clinicians, with the end users of medical devices, but also with payers, with policy makers, with providers, and with the industry, but also, as we will see, with the patients' associations. And uh, thanks to these consortia and thanks to the Three Years Project that allowed us to leverage on the experience and the knowledge of each single partner and each single stakeholder, we, uh, we, we think that we have improved the methods for assessing and for deciding which medical device is really key and is really important for improving the health of our populations. So we think that we have provided policymakers and all decision makers with better tools for taking important decisions. Patients and patients associations are often neglected um, as, as key stakeholders in, in the evaluation in the HTA framework in Europe. With Meteca project and with the FRA award, we would like to you know, overcome that gap by uh, enhancing the role of patients and patients association, informing them about the results of Meteca and making them you know, uh, fully on board in the assessment of medical devices in, Euro in Europe, uh, which will lead to the improved uh, public health as, uh, as we hope and as we strive for and uh, would uh, create a tangible impact on, on the society in, in the European Union.